Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Insights. And today, the insight is simple. Love warns. And I want to summarize this whole topic this way. The Bible is a warning document. That's right. The Bible is a warning document. So as Christians, we're people of the book, we should be about warning people. The Old Testament has many warnings, everything from from Noah warning the people through building the ark and then judgment coming to nations being warned to the prophets. Uh, Primary focus was warning the people of their waywardness and calling them back to God. The New Testament warns us of Jesus' second coming, among other warnings, even picking a a small book in the New Testament, like the book of Jude. It's filled with warnings. Of course, Revelation is a huge warning of the cataclysmic events that will happen uh, prior to Jesus' second coming. And so again, the Bible is a warning document. But remember, Love warns. So this warning is rooted in love. Love is also uh, at the very foundational level of the entire Bible. God's not warning us and the prophets aren't warning us because they hate us or they want to make our lives miserable. The Bible warns us. God is warning us even today because he loves us. Even Jesus said, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but to save it. But to save the world, part of it is to warn people. I think of a very interesting passage in Acts 24 where Paul is witnessing to Felix, the governor in his day, who he's being held in his prison, but Felix liked to listen to Paul and would invite him to have discussions. And it says there that Paul talked to Felix about righteousness, discipline, and the coming judgment. Felix is not a believer and Paul is sharing all of these ideas with him. So we know Paul's heart. He wanted to see Felix come to faith and it's because of that, because of Paul's love for lost people, which we see in many passages. But in this passage specifically, we see Paul sharing this, the idea of future judgment so that Felix will humble himself. He will turn from his sin. He will turn to faith in God. And speaking of that, let me remind us of John the Baptist. He was constantly warning people. He even said to the Pharisees and Sadducees, who warned you to flee the coming wrath. That reminds me of Peter. And Peter says at the end of his famous sermon in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost, Peter says, save yourselves from the coming wrath. He's warning them. And it also says in that verse that he went on with many strong words or exhortations to, to tell the people to turn, come to faith in Christ and to escape what's coming. So again, we see both the love of God in these preachers, but we also see the firm or even stern warning because love warns. And the Bible is a document that is based on both love and on warning. I look forward to being with you next week on Insights.